Canada. How's it everybody? My name is Jack also welcome to the Tomb Raider Anniversary. I thought about I just found this game line around in one of my carpet just in my drawer and I thought about running a bit of nostalgia again. Because currently at the moment I am got uh, the original Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness and considering to the uh, fact that I've decided I want to beat the games once, let's see if we can buy games on disc for Xbox, PS, and PC, and I found this uh, Square Enix Masterpiece Edition, which had two made of two made, and it was Angel of Darkness, Legend, Anniversary, and Underworld. Four of the games I actually wanted the most, but I only bought this basically for the Legend. But, it, but even though I bought it for Legend, uh, oh yeah, and also I had under, uh, Underworld as a standalone disc as well. I forgot that. But I only bought this basically for a Legend. <laughs> because I've been itching to play that for a long time. Now, I thought about that. Why don't we just run this thing on Anniversary first so I've got a nostalgia? So, yeah, let's kick into it. Uh, Never normal menu grab, fucking off. Menu grab is a bitch. Let's see if she, this woman can use her brain for once. Devil D. Should we go on hard? I don't know. Nah, let's go easy. Uh, medium. Just, 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 just for the, 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 the games. Even though my motherboard's been giving shit these days, it's actually working this game fine. Now what's a man got to do to get that sort of attention from you? If that's the sort of attention you want, Larson, you're well on your way. Sounds like fun, but I'm only here to make an introduction. Lara Croft, meet Jacqueline Natla of Natla Technologies. Good afternoon, Miss Croft. My research department has recently turned its focus to the study of ancient artifacts, and I'm led to believe that, with the right incentive, you're yeah, just the woman to find this, them for me. This. I'm afraid you've been misled. I only play for sport. Which is precisely why I've come to you, Miss Croft. This is a game you've played before, with your father. You both spent years searching for the Skion of Atlantis. All you needed was the location of Qualopec's tomb. You found Vilcabamba. How quickly can you get to Peru? Tickling uh, Tomb Raider. Vilcabamba continues to elude us. And my insistence that we press on in spite of these failures has morale low. I suspect Jenkins to be the author of this sedition. He simply refuses to accept the possibility that Atlantis is the foundation upon which all known civilizations were built. Increasingly, I find it is Lara alone who remains untainted by academic dogma and open-minded enough to see this truth. She you know that they made... They literally made a Tomb Raider anniversary skin for Ash... Uh, as a legendary skin for Ash in... Lo siento! No traje bastante That's cuerda! Funny. Not to worry, I'll find another way up. Okay. Wow. The nostalgia. But I, the disclaimer, I played this a bit on PlayStation 2. I played it once on PC as well. When I bought the disc, so a bit of disclaimer there. I just downloaded, I just installed this thing just recently for a bit of a nostalgia kick to get it. So, let me just first do this. Um, sub, hey, subtitles on English, yes. If I keep, yeah, if I keep pressing E repeatedly, and then she'll... Wow, still got this shit. I don't need to 
the tutorials. See if you play what's name Grapple. I don't remember. Mountain caves. <laughs> Manually saving if the checkpoint must save your progress up to that point. Bullshit. I think I felt. I think I know what. I think I know when it comes to idols and too many games. They'll only save you after a certain point. And you, and when you save, you end up when you go and you log back on. You only get back to the checkpoint. Nobody when you see a cave into it. You would have made enough. There's shit on the other side. Yep, what did I tell you? Puppies! <laughs> Sorry, I only I only kill Wolfies when it comes to Far Cry. Oh, he dead, all right. That's the thing, when it comes to, they say manual jump, manual grab, normally when I used to do that in Tomb Raider Lost Revelations, she used to do that, I used to shit myself, because it's like grab, 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 grab! I remember this one part, I couldn't make a jump and then I literally used a swan dive to get to there. And I made it. Broke my leg a couple of times, but hey. I don't know why, but every time I get here, even the PlayStation 2, my first playthrough on PC. And just for a disclaimer, my first playthrough on PC was about 2000 and. I'm not gonna lie, 2011? Yeah, it was 2011. May. I gotta jump. Oh, fuck off. Um, there we go. And I gotta lower myself now. Fine then. I'll just slide off this thing. Ow! Everything's sticking up, sticking up on your ass. <sighs> Oh. 
Wait a minute. That's just gonna leave me back up. Is it? Yes, it's only gonna leave me back up there. Fuck that shit. What's up there? But you are up there already. She found that bloody artifact. <laughs> Let me just take a sip of my nice juicy Milo. Yeah, stretch rubber. You got a long way to go. Normally when you see doors like this, kind of very spooks me. But you never know what's in the other corner. Really? Dodging, all in the dodging. It's a good thing they brought that into Tomb Raider. You're playing the original Tomb, uh, original Tomb Raider. He only had keyboard. There was no such thing as a mouse. You only had keyboard. I forgot if they. You have to try to do something there. I think, think so. Go check now. Um, you had to save every time manually. Here yeah, you got at least some checkpoints. Kinda like that story. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, fuck! Ow! That kinda hurt. All the Tomb Raider games, every time the stupid jump has been made, you always used to say, I don't this woman is stupid. Okay, fine then. Screw the artifact. Uh, just to heal up there a bit. I think it's down here. I need to go. Yep, it's down here. Whoa! Okay! Where are you? Oh, there is a little bugger. That's nice. Thank you! This is the way to the artifact. Correct. Correct. And fuck it. Okay, got that artifact. Yeah, I forgot to tap us. I don't know why, but every time I'm playing a game, for example, I've done it, I'm doing it mostly when I'm droning. Preparation phase in Siege, where I'm just literally just, just pressing tab every time. I think I'm mostly has to do with my Starcraft 2. Um, so I saw you there. I saw you there. I'm gonna get you. And there we go. Yep. I 
I don't know why, but that still says funny to me. What's up me? Who's this? Let's try that again. This time we're gonna be a bit higher now. Yes, there we go. Jump! Stole! Oof. I need that large med kit. One more time. I think this time I'm gonna go a bit lower. Serious now. Let's try it one more time. Just use the last one just in case. There we go. I don't care. And stall, I... <sighs> Save for now, because maybe we'll need a little later on. And no, I do not have the coronavirus. I just got a small flu because I just woke up without a shirt. And it was raining your bars. So, yeah. friends because it was his playstation and we always we, each one of us had a specific role can't remember we the one running around and it came to no it was yeah i can't remember doing running around the clues owen used to do um a friend of mine uh, these two basically when i used to live in cape town cool guys colored cool guys um cameron was my friend and his cousin Owen was also <sighs> oh, sorry for that, that basically just woke up. Um that's what I got that like, nice big cup of Milo. Um Owen, it was his PlayStation 2. And Cameron, who my best friend was was his cousin. And each one of us had a role. I was combat and boss fights. Owen was QTEs, quick time events, and the general basic running around and the clue solving was Cameron. Mm, gotta love that. Nice, tasty. And the boys used to play on Saturdays. Oh! Sorry, Laura. Boys used to play on um, Fridays after school. We used to go play some street cricket on Saturdays. We used to play at um, Cameron's house. Come on. Go cry somewhere else.
Oh, shit! Wrong way! No, man! Laura! Kills 14 supplies. Three. <sighs> there was a relic there. I'll make a. I'll make. I'll make my own playthrough of that. Just save like that. I'll make my own playthrough. Great. This is just basically all from muscle memory from playing the first stage too much. Hey! My muscle memory is... My muscle memory just... Uh... Kicks in until... The beginning part of Greece, then that's it, it's screwed. Um... Balkabamba! The first time I already saw that, so it's gonna be a couple of new things when it comes to relics and that stuff. Um, okay, I need a key. Like I said, muscle memory kicks in. I 
I've done a lot better than time everything fucking breaks. I just pull up my guns and I'm like, okay, where are you at? That shit is creepy, dog. Shotgun shells. I need to figure out where the shotgun was in this one. Village key. I'm pressing my number pad into an aim working like shit. Wasn't there a bear somewhere here again? I could have swear there was a second bear. Oh. Wait a minute. My brain power overworking here or what? Let me try this one. Sorry dear person, who you whoever you may be. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. There we go, Lara. There we go. Oh, there we go. Lara. Wow, it actually legitimately worked. Shit. Oh, Again. Some of the type of thing in Egypt, and it scares me. Action doesn't really, it doesn't really it scares me, but also at the same time irritating. Yes, Lara. Anyway, back to the Aegis store. Kinda hurts. 
Obelisk in this game. Because it's a giant obelisk, if I remember correctly. Show off. It's a giant obelisk, and you have to go all the way everywhere to find the pieces in that. Better thing now in this tomato is every time by the, the health bar. Mm, my bad, is finished. Every time by the health bar, you had small, um, you had a gauge where she, where she could only hold on to something for a certain time and then she would fall off. That thing is fixed. We give it a kind of a realistic feeling to it. It's like, okay, okay, you need, you need to like be fast than that, but due to the fact that it was a keyboard only thing, kind of made, kind of pissed me off. Was the other one? Um, no, I have to go now. <laughs> I was thinking of the other one. I just did. Really? Really now? So, there we go. Open sesame. Okay, I've been legitimately okay. That kind of hurt me. That kind of hurt. Um, I've been recording up for thirty minutes. Okay. Okay, so a firefight. Fight, not a fire focus. Anyone with a freaking gun in this game. No one behind me. Nothing. That's a little bit of a cheat they do in the game. It forces you literally to get up there and get and take damage or you have to actually time the shit. Wait a minute, is, wait a minute, really? You can Oh my god, that's that, that that's fucked up. So I basically just took the easy way. Damn it. But what but too early but anyway. 
Syria, welcome up. Completion, 29, yeah, completion time so far, 29 minutes, 4 seconds, 17 kills so far, 5 supplies found. There we go, and something in the heart, get it. Yes, I would like to save this over him. The Lost Valley. Okay, I think it's a good time to use that large one. So you're trying to stretch out like that, then you know for a fact she's gonna not make the jump, um, but she's not gonna make a problem. Therefore, when I know that she's doing that, I can immediately stop her CD. I 
that's kind of a bus kill. Remember, what happened if you put your hand in those holes? What would happen? It's like sticking your hand in there, is like, is someone there? Big oof on me, dog. Let's try that again, shall we? I did dog off my health this time. Okay, I've died once already. That's embarrassing already. Yeah. It's still going. Okay. It's working hard on the end to me, dog. Yes. I think we're going to stay down this time. Okay. Maybe we'll lower. There we go. There we go, better. It's a fast way up there. I'm, I, I'm not gonna say anything. I'll keep my joke. I'll keep that jokes to myself. There.
pistol. Oh, those things. Can pack a punch. Those 50 car pistols. Hell a punch. Shotgun, how about full? 32. Is all the shotgun can carry? 32. Damn, that sucks. <sighs> Every time I keep spazzing. <sighs> Hi, sorry about that. I keep spazzing on the controls. Oh, okay. Just made a big no no there. Hey, definitely I almost made a big no no. Can I? Yeah. There's one thing I know about this game when you're on the walls and something starts coming for your ass. Legitimately, it just pisses me off. Okay, where are we now? Okay! What? I need to get a new chair actually. Um, I think these are the Valk Bumbo runs. Who messaged me? Damn, people. the part that I love the most. Yep it is! Bus bike time they dub. Kitty! Oh shit! I pressed up! I pressed up! Not down! Fuck! Okay, sorry. Let's try this again.
Easy. Not ready. Playing the P playing on the PS2 this thing? This fight was annoying. Come on top, please. Can you just Laura? Thank you. I mean, okay, I can't come on this. So just stay. <sighs> Woman, you're killing me at the moment. Do I have to really climb? I have to go through here. Moron. Is it? Wait, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Um, that needed to go. I just hope to edit this out. Um, get it back to this. Legitimately needs this. Um, can't think when needs when needing the toilet. Okay, jump up there. Further this way. Jump backwards and um, uh, here we go. Let's just use um, the the E before using the B again. Um, I guess that would not be very good. I think there was a health pack at the bottom. There it is. There's another one somewhere else. I'm not gonna go jump down to find it. Should I? What do I have? One, two. 
fine in the sake of not having. I'll lose a bit of health just to regain more health in the future. Wasn't there a large one lying around here also? There's 50 cal ammo, I don't know why there's 50 cal ammo in a boss fight where you don't have the 50 cal. me off when it comes to platforming. Jumping from ledges to ledges. Wicked now. Even in Assassin's Creed dicks me around. Then you jump off that one ledge you don't want to jump off and you die. It's like all my progress for nothing. jump that way I would be pissed. What are you? I saw something glowing down there. I think it was ammo. I think in the bushes. Okay. Go. Literally going for ages about the, the nostalgia of this game because I, I had this game, I had the Tomb Raider, um, Tomb Raider The Last Revelations on PC, and well, even on well, that was already really shit. And after that, I had about had it on the I had Tomb Raider, I think it was two and three. I had two on computer, I got from a friend. I wasn't able to complete it because I only got to the next stage in that city and then I used to die from the mines. And then I had... Wait, you give me a checkpoint here. Why you give me a checkpoint here? It didn't really have a problem on my PS2 and my PS1, and then I had Lost Chronicles that I played. Eight, so I played until Karak. I never really finished it because just um, family things happened. And the hell? Um, certain things in family happened that, yeah, and I lost my PC. But because of the the, the game, it intrigues me. History always intrigued me. That's what got me into Tomb Raider. Yeah, nostalgia always. 
just kicked in. Oh, it's nostalgia. At some point, the trigger that, like, wow, ancient history. Okay, don't wanna go down there. Um, it's like, wow, ancient history. Like, Egypt looked amazing. I remember in grade 4 and grade 5 where I used to go and take up um, books about ancient Egypt and there's this one book I always kept on taking and it was like wow. And take it, there we go. Um Do I bit you don't wanna make a bit no no and uh, rah! Fuck Um with that one was supposed to go there. Saved. That's this way I need to go again. Yeah. Yep, it is. Um, and the thing is, it was one book I always used to take out about ancient Egypt, and it really boggled my mind. Like, wow, ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt is one of the civilizations that have really triggered me. Next, after reaching Egypt, I've read about the Greeks and the Romans. And after that, um, a project that we got was uh, we had to choose different countries, and I chose Mesopotamia, which today is known as Iraq. It's currently known as our Iraq, so. And ancient civilizations, you know. I got out of my head, but I don't want to save due to the demonetization. That's the second time I've died. I think so. <sighs> you wanna make the joke, but you can't because demonetization. That was that sweet.
Oh, I just missed it. No, I just need my body float in there. What was in that cave actually? I, want, I, I, I am really curious. I wonder if it's that relic that I. I remember the PlayStation 2 version, um, do a stage in Egypt. Um, I remember those two I carried an Owen playing for a while without me. I said, okay, well, it's cool, it's cool. I was busy with um, a friend of us, John. Um, the cricket in there. So, yeah. Had some street, a lot of street kicker going on with the. I refuse. There was the relic. So probably used for liquids like uh, fermented chicha. Fermented chicha. I know that's a rotten something because I'm in the fermented soybeans. It's like it's rotten soybeans. It's sour. Just thinking about it scares me. A common side of Andean feasts, the caro was also frequently employed as a ceremonial vase by the Incas. An important religious in important religious ceremonies. Okay. Let's go. Ship. That's not a swan dive. Jump and sh jump and ship. Peru, Lost Valley. Hmm. I found the relic at least. Outfits. Relics. Okay, I mean, I've got a new outfit.
Let's go down. That's a long one. This is a short one, so let's use this one here first. Lara? Banga. And it worked! Nice! realize it after there was nothing to grab on. Ow! That hurt! That freaking hurt! to reach that from here. Okay. Where'd go? I was actually concerned like, have a, do I have enough 50 cal hammer? First one. Okay, that wasn't there before. Up. 
I never team to fight really in this game. But <laughs> very freaking good. Listen, never team to fight. Example. Oh, come on, I have to face this bloody thing again. The thing is, if it, like you saw now, if any of these traps catch you in mid air, bye bye. Never. And here's another one. Close. Yeah. No, it's a small hub. Okay, now I need to get there. To get there, I need to get that thing down. What am I doing, Laura? Okay. We got a plan here, I see it's going up. Okay, Laura, good girl, good girl. Um Puzzle solved. Why the? Shh. Is that correctly? Health bar at I think that's about forty five percent. Okay, but at him. Let's go. More traps await us. Okay, 
I remember correctly. I have to go around this way. Laura, come on, man. Checkpoint. There are legit too many checkpoints in this bloody game. Why is there so much shotgun ammo? No rage meter? Okay. Um. Ah. It's freaky. Oh, there he is. There's an artifact at the bottom, that's why. I'll do artifact hunting in another time. Don't bother someone else. Oh, that was close. Go. Yeah, that's a bit of a roll down there for me, boy. Surprise! Like, look around this room, it could be a boss fight. Qualifact himself, I presume. Actually, yes. Here sits the god king Qualipec, one of the triumvirate, keepers of the three pieces of the skill, diviners of its knowledge, sacred rulers of Atlantis. I shit, my, I shit myself first playing this game like that.
I'd love to join you, but I forgot my trucks. Why am I not surprised? You got your job, I got mine. I'll take it from here. I hope Natla sent you here with more than that shotgun. Don't sweat it, kitten. I prefer a more hands-on approach. is only one piece of the ski on. Where's the rest of it? Give me a minute. I'm thinking. <sighs> Woohoo! Makes no difference to me. Pierre's probably already found his piece. Pierre Dupont? Where? Now that, I don't know. All right. I'm convinced. Damn, you really had me going there. Thanks for the shotgun, buddy. Something to report? Good news, madame. Your information was correct. I have located my piece of the ski run. Voila! It is buried under a place called... St. Francis Folly. Well then, um... In... Two artifacts, the one was down there. Progress, yes, I would really like to say that. I've acquired new evidence that leads me to believe it is the Skion itself that is in some strange way a vast library of information to rival even Alexandria. I am now convinced that if I can obtain it, I will finally discover what happened to my beloved Amelia. Oh, Pierre, you litter bug. Okay. Uh, I think that is it for this episode of, um, of Tomato Anniversary. I'll be doing some more. I think I'll just play the whole series, like, one stage at a time. Uh, so, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And,. Like the you know, hit that like if you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.